I'm creating this video to reveal what I would call the shocking truth of the automotive industry. This may be a little controversial for most of you that watch this video. You see, we're coming out of what I would call one of the worst recessions in automotive industry. In our past uh, few years, I think many of you have experienced some downturns. Many of you have witnessed what may be the worst economic downturn since the Depression. But now the buzz seems to be positive. And at NADA convention, there seems to be a lot of people with uh, what I would call irrational exuberance. If you read trade magazines, they're talking about significantly increased sales and some of the higher sales expectations than what was previously thought. But I'm here to tell you that in 30 years, I know that what goes up goes down. And I know that the automotive industry is cyclical. I also know that when the herd is moving one way, you had better be moving the other. When everybody is running towards the irrational exuberance of uh, being positive, you had better be looking at doing some things that would be opposite of what others would do. And when everybody else is trying to pinch every penny and trying not to spend any money on anything and thinking that the world is going to end, that's when you should dig down deeper and do more than what you ever believed you should be doing. You see, for 20 years now, I have been known as the contrarian. Everything that I do in my sales process, my management process, in everything that I teach dealers and managers, salespeople, and doing consulting, speaking, and training has all been geared around the idea of the contrarian philosophy. Over the years, I've been able to help dealerships, for example, go from selling 25 and 30 cars a month to over 300 cars a month, to being number one in their in complete region when they weren't even number one in their own city before we started. I have worked with dealerships that went from being marginally profitable to even losing money to then going to making millions of dollars within a year or two. All of that seems pretty exuberant and almost impossible, but it's absolutely a fact and can be proven. How have we done this? By not following the herd. Here's what I'm here to tell you. It doesn't matter what the marketplace is. It doesn't matter what's happening in the marketplace. The most important marketplace and economy is going to be the one you create between your ears. It's going to be what you do to build a foundation for your business. Most dealerships go out and depend upon the marketplace. And yes, traffic is increasing right now. Sales are increasing. Profits are increasing. But if you build a luxury house and it has a crappy foundation, I promise you over a period of time it will collapse. And it will most likely collapse before the marketplace goes bad. The time to really build a great dealership is when things are not quite as good as they should be and you begin to build that foundation. But now as things are changing, many of you are going to experience some of this increase of sales, but you're going to eventually, maybe six months or a year down the road from now, start to experience some difficulties. And you're not going to understand why this is happening. You're going to be asking yourself, how could this be in a great marketplace? Am I now starting to experience difficulties I didn't expect? It's because you have violated the rule and the principle of what I call the four P's. Dealerships in all businesses are built upon four P's and four P's period. People, process, product, and market positioning. I'm going to say it again. People, process, product, and market positioning. Do you have a way to continually recruit, train, educate, motivate, and retain the right people? Can you put them into the right positions and you, can you create the people and the environment and the culture that you need to sustain no matter what the marketplace is? Do you have the right processes? And I mean process for everything. Not only your deal process, but everything you do every day and your managers and your salespeople do. Great coaches in any sport are fantastic at creating processes that motivate, educate, and put people on a track to where they're going to succeed no matter what their talent level. But most dealerships do not do this. 
They don't have processes, and they're what I call wingets. And when you're a wing-it dealership, you'll do well temporarily, but over the long period of time, no great marketplace will save your dealership. You will begin to experience difficulty. So now we've talked about people and process, but what about your product? There's been a great emphasis put on how do you acquire the right product, both used and new, in the last few years. But after having went into thousands of dealerships over the last several years, I know that most dealerships still do not have a workable process on how to acquire the best product that meets your marketplace for you to increase your sales and to keep them there. So now we've looked at people, product, process, but what about your market positioning? I also find when we go into dealerships that dealerships either do one of two things. They tend to outsource all of their advertising and marketing to advertising agencies. Or they try to just do what everybody else is doing in the 20 group. Both things are a massive fail. A massive fail. Number one, if you're regurgitating old ideas and you don't have a three core process, which I will explain in some other videos, that you have to have for successful market positioning, you're gonna do what others do and have a lot of ups and downs you will not create a dominant position in your marketplace. And then secondly, if you're delegating all of your marketing to advertising agencies, here's what I'm gonna tell you about 99% of marketing agencies in the automotive industry. They are qualified to do a couple of things. Number one, to buy time. And number two, to do production. Because they are a marketing advertising agency does not mean that they know and understand the core principles of marketing and what you have to do to dominate your marketplace. If you do not dive in deeper than you have ever done before and you follow the herd and the masses right now with irrational exuberance, I promise you that eventually you will begin to see cracks in your business. I'm going to put out several videos that will go into detail about what you can do in this 4P process to build your dealership from the foundation up like you never had before so you can completely dominate your marketplace, increase your sales, make more money, and get more repeat business than you've ever seen before in your life. I also want to let you know that periodically I will do management workshops where I go over this 4P process in a two-day environment with dealers and managers from all over the world. And I usually hold these in the Midwest in my area in Cincinnati, Ohio. For more details on this, I want you to go to tourt.com slash shocking truth. That's T-E-W-A-R-T dot com slash shocking truth. You can also call us at 888-2TOURT, which is 888-283-9278 to get more details. But look for our periodic videos that we will send to you or that you could get from this website on this 4P process and what you can do to not follow the herd, build a dominant dealership that is contrarian to everybody else, and to build something that will sustain itself forever. Thank you and continue to watch.